In some of my earlier videos I wondered about a weird little plant that should have been a Carolina Reaper but it looked kind of different, the fruits looked different, it wasn't as hot as a Carolina Reaper should be expected to be and um, I did a little digging in my older videos and some of my notes and I have come to a conclusion. Until recently my working hypothesis for the origin of this weird little Carolina Reaper plant was an unintentional hybrid and I expected that this uh, unintentional hybridization happened when I kept my original Carolina Reaper plant outside among with uh, a bunch of other super hot varieties. And so I thought hmm, that might be interesting, I don't know what crossed in, but uh, now I think I figured out what really happened. You see, what I forgot was that I took my original Carolina Reaper plant inside in order to prevent unintentional hybridization, because what I wanted to do was to cross it with my Cariolochia scorpions 20. I wanted to produce the Cariolochia screeper. That did not work, at least not in the intentional crosses. The flowers fell off after I tried to pollinate them in a controlled way, as uh, demonstrated in earlier videos. But apparently, where the intentional cross failed, an unintentional cross happened with the only other plant in the room, which was the Cariolochia scorpions 20. So I produced the Cariolochia screeper by accident, so to speak. Long story short, my original Carolina Reaper plant did not survive into the next season, unfortunately, so I had to rely on its seeds for my next attempt to produce the Cariolokia Reaper, which was an, a lucky accident because uh, I didn't even have to produce it, I already had it in form of those seeds. So the Carolina Reaper that I used for my hybridizations in the last year already was a Cariolokia Reaper. Let's designate this line uh, Cariolokia Reaper Strain Zero. Sounds even kind of cool. And um, I used this plant to produce the Cariolokia Reaper strain A and B. Um, this is a plant of the strain A, which was in fact the only strain that I seeded this year. And um, the result of the whole thing is that this nice little plants are um, already the back cross with the Cariolokia scorpion strain D. Back then, when I crossed in the Trinidad Scorpion Buruga Red, I performed an intentional back cross, just like it happened here by accident. Nice. In retrospect, um, the fruits of the Cariolokia Screeper Strain Zero, as I call it now, um, did often have a kind of pear shape um, that was quite common, or is still quite common in my Cariolokia breeding line. So this should have been... Um, a massive hint for me that uh, of what was going on, but um, I didn't uh, figure it out until now. But enough of the past and on with the future of my breeding project. We have the Cariolokia Screeper strain A. Nice and bushy growing, even though I didn't prune it, it's already starting to develop little side branches, which is a feature that I find very nice. Um, the plan for the Cariolokia Screeper strain A is just to see how it develops. It is already a back cross, as I mentioned, so it will be interesting um, to see if the fruits will turn out orange, um, because the Cariolokia Screeper Strain Zero should already carry this uh, fruit trait in a recessive form, so it might appear in this back cross, which would be uh, almost the definitive proof of uh, this unintentional back cross that happened. So um, this will be interesting, but it, there's no cross uh, imminent in this growing season. I will just see how it develops. Now what I intend to cross in this growing season is this nice Carolina Reaper chocolate. 
with a ahi charapita. I have here three little plants in one pot. They develop a little bit slower than the rest of my chili peppers, but um, I think this will be doable. And um, I thought I might call this uh, cross the Ahi Chocla Reaper, but uh, this is kind of clunky. So maybe um, Ahi Chara Ripa. The idea behind this cross is basically the same as in the original Cariolokia, which was a cross between Butyolokia and Carioca, and um, the goal is to produce a super hot with very small fruits, and the reasoning behind this uh, is explained in more detail in another video of mine. You can um, see there for reference. But yeah, that's the basically goal, basically the goal, and it will mirror the um, Cariolokia creeper that's in development right now. Maybe the two lines will cross in the future, who knows, but uh, I will just um, see what's happening with this cross. And for the Carolina Reaper chocolate, there's also another breeding partner uh, for this season plant. I intend to produce yet another strain of the Cariolokia creeper by utilizing some quite old plants of the Cariolokia scorpion strain D line, which have overwintered a few times. This is um, individual number two. This one is in fact the ancestor of all current Cariolokia scorpion strain D and Cariolokia screeper individuals. I selected it back then because its fruits were really nice and aromatic, although there were not as many uh, fruits and flowers per note as can already be uh, guessed by how it looks now. In contrast, individual number 9 of the same generation. Um, this one resembled the Carioca ancestor more closely. It had many fruits per note and they looked uh, very similar to the uh, Carioca, just a little bit larger and I think a little bit pointed at the end, but uh, basically very similar to the Carioca, but without this uh, habanero taste, taste uh, that I want to avoid. So if this plant uh, will return to full life and flower. Uh, it um, did not survive the last uh, winters as good as the individual number two. Then this one will be the individual that will be crossed with the Carolina Reaper chocolate. And again, maybe I will decide for one strain or cross some of the Cariolokia Screeper strains uh, with each other and see what happens. Uh, this is all just... Um, experimenting. Well, this about covers my plans for goal-oriented chili breeding this year, basically monitoring the Cariolokia Screeper strain A. I have a few individuals of this strain and also producing a different variety of the Cariolokia Screeper using the Carolina Reaper chocolate as a basis, but also to produce a whole different breeding line um, with similar goals as the Cariolokia Screeper. Um, and see what happens. So that's it for now.